Life interactive adventure games aren't just for kids. Instead of company lunch retreats, businesses all around the country are taking their employees to escape rooms. You have just an hour to find your way out. Omar via Frank and Dallas shows us how these workers are getting into the idea of breaking out. You have one hour starting now. Andrew McJanet Smith gets paid to lock people in a small room, then monitor and videotape them as they plot their escape by solving riddles and finding hidden clues. My name could refer to fake money. You can see he's, he's getting rather frustrated. Here's another. What may seem like a cruel prank is becoming big business in Dallas for Andrew and his wife Tracy. The couple opened Escape Expert in late January. The 6,000 square foot building has five rooms where contestants must work together to try and escape. My name could refer to fake money. This is dough. So Today, they average 700 customers a week. Black and white, white and black, round and fuzzy. And at about $30 a person, that's about $80,000 in sales a month. It's taken from like a computer game and made for real life so that you can actually play like a real life computer game. So that's a four. Unlike many other escape room businesses, their biggest customers aren't screaming teenagers. Step forward to the left. Or adrenaline junkies. Nine, three, four, seven. Their employees from companies like FedEx, Frito-Lay, and 7-Eleven. We won, fair and square. And we work together, and now I think that we have stories to go back and tell other teams. You can see he's in the center of the room. He's like making sure everyone's doing what he's asked them to do. Which is Andrew fine, says fine. the 7 Eleven teams uh, were at times fine. disorganized, but succeeded with teamwork. <laughs> People that worked well together eventually escaped from the room. Well, you got to be a team to win. I mean, it's one of those, one of those things that you got to listen, you got to be able to lead at some points. But uh, I mean, just work as a team, really. That's what we got out of it. Tracy says the smartest person in the office isn't always the best teammate in the escape room. Who overthinks? Accountants overthink, financial people tend to overthink things. And that they, can be a problem. It can be because if you're looking into something too deeply and the answer's right there in front of you, you can miss the clue completely. Each room has a theme with varying degrees of difficulty. This is our advanced room, currently has a 20% escape rate. The chase case room looks like a cruise yes. ship cabin, and teams need a particular yeah, set of skills. To, you have to know where things are on maps. Escape Expert now is one of about 300 escape room businesses in the U.S. Can I help you get number three? And for Andrew and Tracy, the only thing harder than escaping from their rooms might be coming up with ideas for new rooms and clues. American flag. American flag. Oh, Which is you. You. Oh, you. For CBS you. This Morning, Omar Villafranca, Dallas, Texas. I bet the three of us could do that well. We could get out of there. I would yeah. like to do that. I think that's a very cool idea. Yeah, very cool idea. It's all about collaboration, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. We know how to do that. We do indeed. <laughs>